Welcome to TechV.com, your solution providers. This is Abhishek and today we're going to be creating a slideshow in Lightroom. So apart from the book feature that we discussed, uh, Lightroom also gives us an option to create a slideshow by creating a collection. And as you can see, we have a collection here. So we can simply click on the slideshow module over here to enter our slideshow option. Now, as you can see, the basic features of the slideshow includes exporting the slideshow to PDF or exporting. As you can see, we can simply click on zoom to fill frame in order to make sure that the complete image is filled by the frame of the slideshow that we want. Or we can uncheck it if we want some margin to be remained from the right or top edges. Or we can simply take this and drag it in or out to have a custom frame of our image in the slideshow now this uh, next thing that we can discuss is the cast shadow and cast shadow is basically important when we want to have an another effect of back in the background of the image which is not so prominent in the background that are not white so we can simply uncheck it for now now as you can see we have uh, we can simply control all the margins that we want and we can delink it first and if we want we can simply increase or decrease the bottom or the top background or any other particular background that we want we can simply go to the left bar and completely shift our image to the left corner for now we're gonna click link all and and have some margin from all the sides to make sure that it doesn't get cut out when we actually play or print our slideshow and we can uh, have any aspect ratio that we want we can make it to screen if we want the aspect ratio to have the format of the resolution of the screen but that's not a good thing to have and we can simply collect it uh, and we can simply select 16 by 9 which is a standard movie ratio now furthermore moving on we can uh, have an identity plate on every single image in the slide show and we can actually remove this identity plate as you can see and fix it to either image or the background so what uh, this does is if we want to fix our identity plate to an image so that by uh, switching to uh, every different images the position of the identity plate remains constant to the photo then we can simply attach it to any corner of the photo but if we want to fix the but if we want to fix the position of identity plate according to the background of the image and make sure by that on every slide the position of slides uh, the identity plate remains constant then we can simply stick it to any corner of the background either top or bottom and then the position of the identity plate will remain constant we can click on this uh, arrow here and edit it to anything that we want but for now we can just leave it right there and we can also change the override color if we want to and decrease or increase the opacity or increase the size Also, we can uh, check on uh, render behind image to make sure that it doesn't come above our image. Furthermore, we can include watermarking in picture, but it is not generally a good idea to use it in a slideshow. So we're gonna leave that unchecked. And in the text overlay area, if we want, we can change the color and any other particular function of the text overlay but we're gonna remove that for now too moving on to the title section over here we can have an intro, uh, intro screen and in this intro screen as we saw a brief introduction this is the first thing that we will see when the slideshow starts and then we can edit it to anything that we want so I'm gonna make sure that the first page of my slideshow is this thing and exactly what I want it to be 
you can check any font that we want or increase or decrease the size and click OK and as you can see in this preview this is what I'm going to see in my uh, intro screen we can increase the size of this too if we want to I think around 50 it looks good this is just a preview we can also uh, set an ending screen too if we want to but I'm gonna uncheck that for now now one of the greatest feature is we can actually include a manual or automatic selection in our playback and one of the best features that we get is we can actually select a music and sync our selections with the automatic slideshow mode so let's go and select some music for now as you can see this gives us a music recording and we can sync the slides to the music if we want to and or uh, we can either sync it and let the Lightroom decide whatever uh, length each slide has and 4 seconds seems good or we can simply select it on our own and choose it to be anything that we want for now I'm gonna just sync it with the music and actually if we want to include a video in the slideshow then we want to change the audio balance which is if the video is an important video then the music in the background will fade out and the music of the video will fade in and this is simply the control level that we want to manage with it so these were the basic functions of the slideshow module and we can also select any quality that we want draft quality is generally for brochures and other things but we're gonna keep it at standard and now if we want to export it to video we can simply export it to any video or, or if any quality as you can see this is the video various presets that we get or we can simply have a preview by clicking here or play the slideshow on full screen by clicking on play and furthermore we can save our slideshow right here by naming this whatever we want and we can simply uh, have this with our best of tour book settings right over here if we want to so that was our slideshow module in lightroom thanks for watching please like and subscribe